Attention on the beach in the water. One of the only areas not under excessive heat warning is the coast. Late in June, the numbers really started peaking and we haven't seen it let off really uh, since 4th of July. Aside from dehydration, lifeguards say one of the biggest hazards for swimmers are rip currents, which can be hard to spot. It's the longshore currents that pull the water along the parallel to the shore that pull them into the neck of the rip current and push that water out. If you feel yourself, as soon as you enter the water, getting pulled toward, toward a deeper trough, that's a sign that you're entering a rip current. Just walk yourself back out and away from that location. Lifeguards say even experienced swimmers might find themselves having to fight their way back to shore. During the heat wave, people are not the only ones heading to the beach. We're just spending the day kind of cooling off, both them and, and the horses, and just having fun. Margit Deerman says taking her horses swimming is good training and a good way to get out of the heat. Lots of people come by and they're so excited to see horses, especially the tourists in San Diego, you know, that don't expect to see a horse at the beach, right? And then they come and they pull in and get their camera. Can we take a picture with your horse? And yeah, so it's a lot of fun. If you're heading to the beach, lifeguards recommend bringing an umbrella or tent to avoid constant sun. They're also encouraging people to ask them where safe places to swim are. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.